Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Cask 529. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. Tonight, we're going to take a look at our recent bourbon haul from a trip down to North Carolina. Stick around, and we'll show you what we've got. Okay, guys, uh, we literally just got back from Surf City, North Carolina. And Wilmington. And, and Wilmington. Yep. And when I say literally just got back, I mean like three hours. Yeah. Maybe. So um, we did a little bit of bourbon hunting while we were down there. A lot of relaxing. A lot of eating. A lot of eating. A lot of drinking. Too much eating. Too much. Beer drinking, honestly. Beer drinking. <laughs> uh, we're not used to that. Several days we spent in Wilmington where with some friends that showed us all the local breweries. Um, fantastic beer drinking down there. But anyway, different channel, different day. It is a different channel, and why he, while you bring that up, we got to film a show with them yes. um, on their channel, and as soon as it is released, um, we will be sure to provide everybody a link. It'll probably be another week or so before we can do that, but as soon as it's out there, we'll provide a link where they had us on their beer channel drinking bourbon barrel beers. Um, very, very good, all of them. They were very good. Fun game. time. Great I time. I think we had, uh, I want to say six. six beers. Yes, six different um, ones. And if, and if you're watching us from the north, this will be hard to believe, but we sat outside in the sun and and sweat. It was yeah. so nice. It was, <laughs> it was cool when we went over. So we both, I, I think you had a sweatshirt on too. I did. And let me tell you, I wish by the time we actually got to filming, I had a t-shirt on because it was yeah. it was really nice and warm down there. I had taken a hoodie with me, but I left it in the car because by the time we got there and we were setting everything up, it was just too warm. Yeah. So what we come up with while we were down there. Um, previously, several months ago, probably last fall, we had some friends that went down to Mount Airy, North Carolina mm -hmm. on vacation and toured a distillery that's actually in a prison, an old prison. Right. And they got us this uh, 375 ml bottle of Conviction uh, straight bourbon whiskey. They weren't too convinced that we were going to be happy with it whatsoever. Um, we loved it. Absolutely. I mean, Delicious. This, this stuff, and they're still better than half the bottle here. It's because it's one of those bottles we... We didn't think we, we really do enjoy it, and we didn't want to drink it because, right? I know it's silly, but <clears throat> so that distillery's name we did not get a chance to visit it. Um, but it's um, Southern Grace Distilleries um, in the Mount Airy or Mount Pleasant, it's Mount Pleasant, Mount Pleasant, okay, uh, um, North Carolina, Mount Pleasant. You're correct, okay? So, first liquor store we went in down there in uh, Surf City. We found the 750 ml. Shauna did. She spotted it. Yes. From across the room, it was <laughs> magical. There was bright lights and music, and I was super excited because <laughs> that means I can drink it. <laughs> so we now have a full size bottle of Conviction. It is a different barrel. However, we don't expect that it's going to be any that it's going to disappoint. But the exciting thing, sitting next to that bottle, I don't know if we even knew they had it. She not. found a bottle of double oaked straight bourbon whiskey. Super excited to taste that one. In fact, I believe we're going to be tasting it right now. Probably, yes. You want me to go ahead and <laughs> while um, you talk while I open. So the next couple, they're not new to us or the show. However, running really low. And so why we are in the store, um, North Carolina, if you're not aware, is... Um, a controlled state. They have ABC stores. So everything is at MSRP as well down there. So we have a, a group come in that we're going to do a small batch tasting and stuff on. So I went ahead and picked up the 1792 small batch because um, that is one of our favorites. And the one that we have um, is open. And I didn't know how much really we had in that. The Bibb and Tucker small batch as well, the six year. Super good, um, and I know I had very, very little of that one. Uh, I was really kind of thrown for a second because they have changed the label. My label, I believe, is lighter. 
Um, and my bottle is a lot lighter as well. <laughs> and so another one that we ran into that I've not seen here in Ohio, however, you can get it in Ohio at some locations every now and then, but it's not one that you can just go in and find. Is this Bowman Brothers um, small batch. Now, what I learned from this is that Bowman Brothers is um, owned by the Sazerac Company, same as Buffalo Trace, and Buffalo Trace actually ships them the, the bourbon, um, not the bourbon, but they ship it to them so they can distill it again in Buff Virginia. So Buffalo Trace actually creates the juice, distills yeah. it, Yep. then they ship it to Virginia, to, Virginia. to Bowman Brothers. Um, and they run it through a still again. I think it's double stilled before it goes there. Is that correct? No, it's double no? stilled in Virginia. Okay, the double still is there. I'm not sure. I got to research more about it. But I hear that this is maybe the same mash bill. And again, I want to research it some more. And we'll probably be doing a test on it at some point because they say it's the same mash bill as Buffalo Trace. Blanton's. 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 Um, one of those Buffalo's trace, trace mash bills. So this is the small batch, not the single barrel. So we'll have to do some research, but I'm anxious because if it is similar or the same as Buffalo Trace and we don't like Buffalo Trace, I'm anxious to taste it against one another. And the other thing that I'm anxious to try, we didn't get it because it's not really what we were looking for at this time, but the single barrel they had, it has a port finish to it. Um, I know a lot of guys out there aren't crazy about finished bourbons. Um, the port finish is one that I really enjoy. I like that. I like that port flavor. So I'm going to be I'm going to be looking to get one of those to try that out. Right. So on their shelves they had this small batch and the port finish one. Mm -hmm. We went ahead, we got the small batch because we were looking for small batches at the time. So super excited to try this one. Then. <laughs> At all three ABC stores that we went into, they all had bookers on the shelf. Okay, we could get bookers here in Ohio. However, it does not sit on the shelves, at least not in any of the areas that we go to. So we were shocked because they're, they're, they weren't even sitting like on the allocated or the no, end they were caps. Out the, they they were, were actually the bourbon row. in the bourbon rows, <laughs> bookers. Yeah. Um, so, this one that we got, we got the 2023-03 batch. Now, it's the Mighty Fine batch. The two other stores had the 2024-01 batch. So they had the first batch of 2024. Um, and I didn't look those, I don't know how much information might be out there on those. This one I happened to Google while we were in the store and I was like, okay, it sounds like it's probably a pretty good batch. And even the, I think she was the manager working at the store, said that she had heard nothing but positives about that batch. So so we went with this one. This is the first bookers we've owned. It is. So and we've had a couple bookers. Mike has brought us a couple to Mike, try. Mike brought a Pinky's batch. Mm -hmm. I know he'll get a kick out of us mentioning that. That's his favorite. Uh, <laughs> he brought that. We loved it. Mm -hmm. um, the only other time we ever had bookers that I'm aware of is a few years ago before we were really into the bourbon thing and mm, we didn't really care for it. But <clears throat> we have a whole lot different taste on bourbon now than we had then. We do. We do. You want to try your... I was just um, swirling it around here because I am super excited. I, um, I'm honestly shocked that I did not crack it while we were still in North Carolina. But I was trying to be good and not have open bottles. <laughs> coming home with open bottles and across state lines. That was nice, however. <laughs> That's really thick. Yeah. It's really thick. You can definitely smell the oak on it. Picking up the caramel, the vanilla. It smells hot. It's only 104.2 proof. It's I, I a summer 23 batch. I definitely am getting a lot more heat than I am sweet off of it. Yeah. But look at the look at the legs. Look through your glass now that it's settled down some. Yeah. It's I mean it almost you could paint the glass with yeah. it. It has a beautiful color. 
I wish, um, I apologize, I should have looked, if, seen if I could find anything. So after two years, the bourbon is harvested and then rebarreled in new charred American white oak cask. The twice barreling enhances the depth of flavors. So it doesn't say how long it was put into the cask for the second time. When I just picked it up this time and just brought it quickly to my nose, I smelled tobacco and um, a real uh, fine, fine scent of brown sugar. Sweetness when it hits your tongue though. You got sweet, I didn't get sweet. I got sweetness, <laughs> I got oak. I got lots of oak. Getting some cherry. <clears throat> Shauna likes oak. Shauna, Shauna likes oak. I don't mind. I don't mind a lot of the oak stuff that we have. This is really oaky to me. I mean, I know it's double oak. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I know it is it's double, double oak. oak. But that. Wow. I don't hate it, but it's a pass for me. I'm. That's all you. Mm. I think you need to try it again. Second round, still picking up the oak. It's really creamy. I'm getting the cherry. I'm getting vanilla. I'm getting brown sugar. I'm getting some other, I feel like a little bit of mint on the end. It does have a heavy oak presence. Um, I enjoy that. I really enjoy that. But it has a great finish. It's really smooth. My husband is still not liking it. I might get a little bit of cherry on the finish. Is that where you said you had it? <laughs> but I've really got i got to like... I got to get in there and I got to pick the oak tree up and move it out of the way to get to it. <clears throat> just and that's okay. It's just not my thing. It's that bottle's not for me. That's good. I'm glad it's not for him. Yeah, it's like I said. I don't hate it, but it's not. It's not one I would go to. This, I hope, is as good as as the small bottle was. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if you do like a heavier oaked bourbon, I would recommend grabbing a bottle of that if you saw it. It does run down there. Oh, the 60. double oak was 6510. I, I, I feel like that, and this can be ordered even though you'll, you won't find it on a shelf in Ohio. Um, it is, or you can order it right from. Yeah. Southern Grace. Southern Grace Distillers, mm -hmm. you can order their products. I think they take you to a secondary. Um, Possibly. I, to, you're the one that looked it. at that. I don't know. But I, I'll tell you that of the double oaks we've had, that's the heaviest oak we've had. I would like you to taste it in a few weeks after it's been opened up. We'll see. Or maybe let it sit for a little bit because you just poured it. Um, to open up a little bit in the glass. I'm telling you, it does have a heavy oak presence, but if you like that, and then you can enjoy it, you can get all the other flavors. You can get the cherry, you can get the brown sugar, you can get the hint of the um, mint and some pepper, spices. It's, it's really enjoyable. There's a lot of guys and gals out there I know that, that like that. That's the profile they want. And that's great. This is the profile they want, if that's what they like. It's just too much for me. And I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm glad. More for me. Okay. Um, 
I believe I forgot to mention. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I to mention. Monday night, Monday night at eight p.m. is the drawing for the new riff, Bottled Bond. Bond. Yeah, for uh, one hundred proof for our one hundred show that we announced A ten few days episodes, ago. Yeah. Episodes ago, um, so that'll be Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're not already registered, go back, grab that episode, see what you've got to do to enter, and get entered. Doesn't cost you a dime. No, nope, it doesn't. That'll be Sounds our good. third bottle giveaway. It will, and we're trying to get to a thousand so we can do another one, which will be featuring all Ohio bourbons. Correct. Whiskies. Correct. Hey, I'm anxious to, one, I'm anxious to try the Bowman Brothers that we've never had. I'm anxious to compare that small batch with the small batch mm -hmm. that we have over there. I'm also really anxious to try this Booker sometime. And so, guys, if you like the Bourbon Hall videos, let us know. We'll, we don't always have this many bottles at one time. But obviously, I mean, to do the show, we're out hunting bourbon a lot. So let us know and we'll, and we'll do these. Absolutely. Okay. I think that's all we've got, correct? It is. Okay. Remember, Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, get registered, get entered to win that bottle. And that's April 1st, 2024. April 1st. And there will be no joke. We really are giving the bottle away. <laughs> we will. Promise we will ship it. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. And until next time, be safe. Thanks, everyone.